seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Venus, the planet of love and emotion, will make its move in the sign of Scorpio on 11th of November. And this is a very special movement because on 8th of November, Venus was in the sign of Libra, although its own zodiac sign. But there was an eclipse in a Venusian nakshatra, Bharani nakshatra. And this eclipse was a very power-packed eclipse that, it, that has influenced a lot of minds and has changed the thought process. And this eclipse has the power to change, the power to uh, give you power to create, give you power to self-realize a lot of things and bring much needed changes. And now that Venus, the planet of love, the ruler of Taurus and Libra, will move in Scorpio's zodiac sign. Now Scorpio is a hideous zodiac sign. It is a water element, but it is also a zodiac sign of secrecy. It's a zodiac sign of, you can say taboo. It's a zodiac sign of doing things that are usually unusual, doing things that are more secretive, that are more hidden. Now, when Venus goes after this eclipse in this zodiac sign, this will increase a lot of hidden relations. This will increase chance of you, you know, going into the path that might be slightly unusual. Now, I'm not saying whether it is right or wrong, that depends on person to person, that depends on horoscope to horoscope. But you have to be very careful because if you follow the wrong path, Saturn, which is in the sign of Capricorn and Jupiter, which is aspecting this Venus, will watch you and watch your every action. And if it is not as per Dharma, remember, the Nakshatra of Bharani is ruled by Dharmaraj, Yamaraj. And while Rahu Moon was triggering the Dharma Yoga in the chart of every one of us, it will also watch whether we are following the path of dharma, whether we are following the path of adharma. Adharma has to be avoided and therefore you will have to take every decision with a lot of care, with a lot of precaution, with a lot of awareness. And if you are taking any decision, especially if you are a Venus controlled person, if you are born in Venus nakshatra, if you are born in Venus zodiac sign like Taurus and Libra, or if your ascendant is Taurus and Libra, or if your majority of planets are in Taurus and Libra, Venus, Mahadasha, Antaradasha, then you have to be very, very careful because this Venus transit in Scorpio may create a lot of such relationships in your life that are more secret or you are forced to keep it secret. Now, the question is, why are you keeping it secret? Whether it's an angle of Dharma or the angle of Adharma, you have to watch that out. Overall, if you see Venus, the moment it makes its move in the sign of Scorpio, we'll see the power of Mars coming into play. How? If you observe, Mars on 13th of November will move into Taurus zodiac sign. That is right in front of Venus. And with Mars retrograde in Mrigashira nakshatra and Venus in Scorpio, this can create extramarital relationships. This can waver the mind. This can be a test for spiritual seekers, whether you are influenced by the Maya or you are still focusing on the ground reality. And for all of us, if we focus on the ground reality and we segregate the right and wrong carefully, we will be good to, good to go. We, it won't be creating much of a trouble. But if we are focusing more on the, on the lust, if you are focusing more on material pleasure, if you are seeking more negativity, if you are seeking jealousy, if you are taking decision out of comparison, then there will be lot of issues that this Venus may create. Otherwise, if you observe that when Venus goes in Scorpio and Mars goes in Taurus, if you see, this is a Parivartana Yoga. That's a Parivartana Yoga right in front. That means they are exchanging energies by one and seven. That is like a hand-in-hand -hand arrangement. That is like a marriage. That is like an agreement where Venus and Mars are actually coming together. It's a good thing also, but you have to also think that Mars is retrograde. And when Mars is retrograde, there is higher chance of committing mistakes. Now, how will this mistake come? Let's say there's a particular zodiac sign you're born at, and now you have to see where Taurus and Libra is in your birth chart. There will be a very high chance that you will commit mistakes from areas that are, that are related with Taurus and Scorpio. So you will have to be very, very, very careful 
in your in your life related to those areas and don't do anything that is very much superficial this is the time to go deep now venus in scorpio also means love like like complete devotion now the question is whom are you devoting your time and energy to now this love cannot be just a just a male and a female love this can be love of any kind this can be love towards your career this can be love towards your towards maybe singing your your passion now the thing is why are you giving and devoting your time question is is mars trying to dissipate your energy in a negative manner or are you trying to use your best to put this energy to good use because if you are putting this energy to good use then you are following the path of dharma and when you do that this scorpio venus will give you tremendously positive result because scorpio also means hidden desire something that is hidden something that you were not seeing something that was in the blind spot and now that can act as a blessing this is the time to seek blessing from the divine this is also the time to to chant the krishna mantra and pray to radhe krishna and when you do that you will see that this will bring out all the positive vibration and energy energy and you will find harmony not only in your married life but also in your day to day activity well this is also the time when you will see that business related matters might take a hit so you will have to be careful any kind of investment has to be done carefully uh especially emotional investment has to be done very carefully knowing the consequences and one should be ready to sacrifice before you are expecting something out of your investment that means this is the time that calls for patience this is the time that calls for much needed change but the change comes with time after you have put the effort and that is what you will have to understand especially for people who have venus rahu venus ketu debilitated venus afflicted venus in their chart try not to go in any relationship right now and if you are in a troubled marriage try to just maintain your stand and try not to give up unless you have already given up because this venus can trouble your mind this venus can make you do things that you might regret later on so you try to go into the nature try to enjoy the natural beauty the creation of god and try to understand the very reason why the event has happened before you taking a certain decision now if you are facing a lot of losses if you are facing a lot of issues in relationship and not only just husband wife it can be any relationship if you see that you are unable to open up if you are having a lot of depression then this is the time you can love yourself this is the time you can go within and find your true talent retro mars in front will make the situation difficult so that you focus inward you go inward and you focus on your true talent so believe in yourself and trust your true intention and then you should be honest enough with your action you should be honest enough with your efforts and you should believe and you should know that you are following the path of dharma and then slowly taking one step at a time you will reach closer to your goal because this venus will bring transformation that will help you financially become more stable that will help you help your relationship become more stable by by sharing with each other the deep secrets by opening up and by becoming you can say one with god one with nature one with one with the divinity all around you if you follow that path you will see that you will see the path of success remember jupiter will be aspecting this this yoga and when jupiter aspects it definitely there is a very high chance in spite of all the contradictions there is a very high chance that it will become very very positive if you talk about fire zodiac sign aries leo and sagittarius zodiac sign you will see that venus will play a very vital role in balancing your fire so your passion will be fulfilled you will see the path where you will be able to meet your desire your desire fulfillment will happen and you will do something unique about your life so plan something good about yourself follow your passion and see where your life leads to if you are a water zodiac sign then this becomes a very crucial time remember both gurus jupiter and venus 
are now in your trine doesn't matter whether you are a water ascendant or water moon sign jupiter aspecting venus and and this combination that jupiter aspects your entire trine is a power packed you can say transit with knowledge learn both aspects of life spiritual and material respect both your astral and spiritual body but also respect your physical body go for physical transformation go for transformation that can elevate your mood that can uplift your mind and also sing bhajans for air zodiac sign which are which is aquarius gemini and libra libra is basically one zodiac sign that is ruled by venus so definitely venus has this affinity but the thing is that there can be rumors and there can be speculation that can trouble you so be very careful with what you speak be very careful with what you convey through your body language be very careful with what you want to want your message to go through how you want your message to go through and then when you when you are using your communication skills rely on your true intention also this is a good time to bring major change in your life major change in your career especially if you want to bring more financial security you can bring that financial security through this venusian transit and this venus will give you opportunities that you have never seen before but you will have to grind you will have to work hard and you will have to do something that you have never tried before but remember always follow the path of dharma now comes the earth zodiacs taurus virgo and capricorn for you fill your desire now when you see that that combination you have to understand that this is the confluence of power and emotion this is the confluence of right balance so you have to see the right balance so do everything in proportion if you are doing anything in excess stop find the right balance and then you will see that you will be in the right path and your boat will not sink otherwise you will see that because of the load because you have taken too many things on your plate because you maybe you became greedy or you you wanted so many things from your life you are unable to process that information you are unable to process that load and now you are in a big soup especially in your career do not promise that you cannot fulfill and tr be true to your commitment and just chant krishna mantra and listen to madhurashtakam and that will help you in the long run we'll meet in the next video till then namaste